Hi everyone. Well, I was enjoying watching Kate make her little um, pin cushion. And when I found this little tiny, sort of it was a lap blanket, uh, they're all squares. Um, it reminded me and I thought, look at that, it's a gorgeous little flower. And I thought, well, I'll, this was the last pin cushion I made. And this was, um, well, it was a bit hard, but it was good to make it. So that was the last one I made. And I thought, well, I haven't made another one for that. This was probably made over a year or two, even two years, maybe ago. So time to make another one because can you have enough pin cushions? I don't know. Thanks, Kate. So um, I, I was thinking of making a really large one in a big square like this, but I really like the idea of putting it in a cup or a teacup. So maybe I will do it circular. Let's see. Just trying to work out. If I cut these here, right at the edge of the crochet, might get a bit of a frilly look like Kate had. It's not poking out. When I was cutting up these, uh, so I've cut up quite a few because they'll just go in my shop. But when I was cutting them up, I realised this is quite, um, it frays a lot, this wool. So you can see, it, like it leaves a little bit of a dust or a fluff. And that's okay, it'll be fine. I don't know if it's because it's a particular type of wool that it does that. Well, that'll come in handy for something. All right. But yeah, I, I, when I cut them all up, I just had these little, tiny little bits of yellow stuff all over the floor. Uh, gotta love it. All right, so that's a little circle. Um, I think this is quite holy, as you can see. So I've got a little bit of this from the reverse art track that I have cut down. And I think I will get a piece that's cut it to be a bit the same sort of size and that can be this can all be part of the top and then I I um, when I was at Savers I picked up a jumper that I didn't know if it would work or not and it was a funny sort of shape but I loved the material so I'm thinking that that has to be square like that fix that up um, I am thinking that I'm going to cut the orange as well and that can be the back and I think it's quite decorated on the front but I'll see if I can find something to put on the back squared off. I think it looks good as a circle. So I threaded, pre-threaded a bit of orange because I thought, wow, that matches the back. And I'm going to try to get it, let's see, through the blue. blue and try to leave the red a little bit up try to avoid getting the red I'll just do a blanket stitch just in case there's a risk of too much fraying. So I'm 
catching the blue every time I go around and then trying not to interfere too much with the red at the ends with all those lovely little bits. So good having new little projects. I think I'd like to Yeah, I think before I finish doing that, I think I'd really like to come along maybe the bottom of here. Because once I've done the all the way around, I won't be able to stuff it. So perhaps that's not... All right, that's what I'm doing first. So I've just realized if I do that there's nothing really kind of holding this red stuff down so I'm just going through through the red to secure it under the blue and just going through on just this felt not this one just to secure it Then I'll go back to doing as much blanket stitch until I get to a point where I can stuff it. Yeah, just like that. Getting through all the chores today, which is good. those last two weeks behind us get back back to life all right so I've just come back I've gone around and secured all the reds as much as I can and now I've come round with my blanket stitch just do one or two more I'm just trying to catch the blue when I get to the blue and then I will stuff it okay so here it is, I've got a bit of stuffing. Fluff everywhere. <laughs> this has turned out to be fairly stretchy. It's almost like one of those boucle couches. I don't think I need any more. That's a good amount. How cute. Did I already say that? I probably did. So cute. <laughs> In the um, the thing I'm thinking is that if this sits in something like a little cup, I don't know if I want something on the back of that, but because it's a bit stretchy, um, I'm thinking it might be good just to keep it from stretching out too much. Like it might secure it a bit. So I'm using the whole six strands of embroidery floss. So it's definitely easy to use a threader. Makes it quicker anyway. <laughs> I could take hours. Okay, just make sure I got this last bit of blue. 
Oh. Huh, cute. Okay. Um, let me just have a little look. I have been cutting up a lot of pieces for my shop and I just thought I'd have a look if there was something on here that might... I like that red with that. Not those. What else is there? No, no. I think the red is what I like because of this red. So, a little snip. Doesn't need to be very much. It's just a circle, a circle of lovely red. Love my reds. Um, this is a cotton. Oh, this is a bit of fun. And and a very quick and easy project too. Not not it's not a full couple of days like a junk journal. Or months like a Roxy's Journal of Stitchery <laughs> or years like a Roxy's Journal of Stitchery did you girls think it was going to go on so long I'm sure you didn't <laughs> but how wonderful wonderful for creating a community and even um, creating a community where there are people involved who couldn't afford to do maybe a class or an online class either because there are a couple of people that talk to me about that and uh, that's something wonderful about the Journal of Stitchery for sure. Now I'm going to have to secure this. I might do it at the edge. It's got to... Uh, Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Maybe I could have done a little heart. But it's a circle. It's in keeping with it. I might need a smaller needle and to thread these back in because this needle's really long. I've got a shorter one. I don't think I've... I've got shorter ones, but I don't think I can fit the whole six strands in might have to do it in two halves in this case i'm still thinking i'm not sure if that needs something else on the bottom maybe it is perfect just the way it is like everyone is perfect just the way they are oh it's already come out that's one secured I found my old bent needle. <laughs> it's just too short. Put it through the needle threader. Okay, I have threaded off. I've looped over and cast off this in two halves and now I've tied it in a knot and I'll cut it close. Okay, here's my little cushion. I feel like it needs something, something a bit more me, um, just to add my own little flair to it. What do I need to see what's in here? That's lovely. Flower on the back. I think, I don't know. I should have, if I was gonna do this, I should have probably done it while I was stitching around the edge. 
I can still do it. Oh, oh yeah, I like it. So it's not. It's like I want that bit wider. That's not quite wide enough. And what's this is? No. This one seems to work. Let's get out out of the tin. If I can find the end. My goodness, it goes for miles. Oh, I've got some little flowers on the tag here. All right, I've got some white. Okay, so it's going to come in under here. Put on a little star at the base. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. That's okay. That's the last one. I probably could have checked to make sure the pins actually work in it. <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh yes, very nice all over the place that fits. Okay, now I think I want to make a little edging. This way, if it's this way, I like it just as much as I like the other side. Do a couple more and then turn it over and have a look and make sure it's sitting. If it's really not visible, it's probably a bit of a waste of doing it. Oh yeah, I think there's just enough. It's not really super obvious, but you can see there is something there. <laughs> Love it. And I'm just really basically going around where I did the blanket stitch, the base of the blanket stitch. So I'm about halfway around and I'm noticing it's pulling back a bit as it's sinking into being stitched. You can still see glances of it so I think that's all right. I'm just pondering whether I might, once I've gone round once, go round and do this. I'm doing it on this row, but go round and do it on this row. So I'm going to finish this and then I will show you uh, how I feel about it, whether I've done that or not at the end. Uh, so I'm going to go round and finish it and then decide and I'll show you how it is. Just decided to go around the second row just, just to sit it down just a little bit more. Just finishing off that row. Alright, let's cast off. and we're done. So you could use it this side, which I really like, or you could use it this side. It's funny, it's gone a little bit wob wibbly wobbly, but isn't that, isn't that good to remind ourselves 
of Perfect Imperfection and I've got my little France cup. Uh, Lily and I started, every time we travelled, started collecting the little Starbucks cups and it can sit there. Thanks, Kate. So cute. <laughs> All right, that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.